Hey YouTube, Jake Kilroy here. Um, this the last time you saw me. I was uh, in a video with uh, Adam Booth as he was picking up a little uh, 307 S12 and uh, had a great time. Still a little sore in a couple places uh, after all that uh, heavy labor. But um, uh, this is kind of a follow up. Um, one of the things that's on the uh, Kearney Trekker, the 307, and on my, my 415 down here, is a, um, there is a uh, wave lubrication system that is powered by the knees hydraulic system. And it was disconnected on that machine. I sent it with Adam, but what I wanna do is take some video to document how that system hooks up the same ones on the machine over here so that Adam can have some video to um, help him uh, get that uh, wave lubrication system all set up. It works pretty neat. It's just a little uh, uh, little uh, moving piston in there with a check valve uh, that uses the knee pressure, which is about 200 to 225 PSI on these machines, to uh, move the lubrication out into the waves. So um, let's, uh, I'll get the camera taken down here in a second and we'll go over there and we'll take a look at that. Okay, we're over here at the big mill, and we're looking at the side here. This is on the, uh, I guess if you're facing the front of the mill, this is on the passenger side of the knee, and it says here, uh, Mobile Vactor Oil Number 2. This is the uh, uh, way oiling system. You see a little fill cap here, and um, there's a sight glass here on the side. Can you see my little flashlight? Yeah, my little, my little pointer here is a... Uh, screwdriver and the way this works is uh, this bottom hose here is providing hydraulic pressure to the knee and it pushes against pretty significant spring pressure uh, inside uh, inside the knee there to um, there's a spring in there and, and the hydraulic pressure pushes against that spring moves a piston through this area here and it outputs through a check valve on the bottom here, through this little hose, into this. This is actually a little filter. There's a little wire. Uh, there's supposed to be a little wire uh, filter element in there. I don't think either of these actually had anything in them when I got them. And then out, you see here this rubber hose, outputs lubricant up to the to the uh, carriage to and uh, to the uh, table cross slide and uh, back down this hose back into the knee so uh, this goes over and lubricates the um, uh, vertical column and then uh, and this hose here lubricates the uh, screw and the slideways for the table uh, and it works pretty good um, it uh, provides a steady flow of oil I mean this is always worked on this machine and um, uh, so maybe this will help Adam hook it up. Let me take the camera in here and get a close up of the works here. You see this bottom hose here. This is the pressure hose that goes into the pump. This is hose here is the lubricant coming out into a filter. Then this block, this hose here, feeds up into the knee, and then this uh, solid line here feeds back. I mean, this feeds up into the table carriage. Excuse me. I like that screw right there, huh? And uh, this feeds back over into the knee, and the yellow sight glass and a filler, and uh, it's the exact same unit. This bottom piece here is is a solid casting. This top is just a housing to uh, house the, uh, the lubricant. So uh, let's move back over and we'll go over a couple more things about the machine that uh, Adam just purchased. All right, so there you go. That's a brief, very brief 
uh, look at the um, uh, oiler on uh, one of these late model crane trackers. Um, I had actually, I wasn't certain that the one that I had on that machine worked. I had actually replaced it with a little manual pump style oiler and I had started rebuilding the, um, uh, the other, uh, the uh, hydraulic oiler when I found the big mill, I just never got back around to it. So sent Adam with all those parts. And um, I also scanned in the manual, the parts, and uh, I believe it's a maintenance manual for that, that mill and this mill. And uh, I will provide a link in the comment section down below to anybody that wants to uh, just check that out. Uh, it's a 500 megabyte scan, so I would appreciate if you download it <laughs> rather than just view it off of my hosting. And um, uh, so that, that is that for the mill. I, I will say that I had a great time hanging out with Adam and Gil, uh, fantastic guys. If there's a reason you like watching Adam's videos and you think that Adam uh, is just a, a real nice guy and be a great guy to hang around with, it's because he is. He's a super nice fellow and uh, a great sense of humor, uh, very knowledgeable, exactly as he appears in his videos. So uh, that's one of the great things about YouTube. Is, uh, this is reality television. Reality television isn't reality television. This is.